Hey everybody, it's Jochen Haydn and I'm back with the Helsin vs. Haydn campaign. This is Scenario 2 and I'm playing Japan, he's playing the Allies, and it's January 5th. Okay, we've got the dot base south of Numea. Uh, you may notice I'm using a different map. Uh, I thought I'd switch it up a little bit. Kind of got tired of the other map and somebody from my Discord recommended this one. And I think it's really cool. We could take a little bit better look at it later on. Well, that's not good. Aha! Uh -huh. Heavy cruisers and three destroyers. And this is one of my... Oh, no! This is at wake. Oh! This is at wake, guys. Wait, where is this? Oh! This is one of my... um. This is one of my uh, picket ships. Okay, so there we go. Two destroy, two heavy cruisers and three destroyers just took out one of my picket ships uh, out in the Pacific. Uh, okay, well, we know that this is definitely a threat now. I thought that was at wake, but it's not. So we need to be very careful out there. If you were to bring heavy cruisers into um, the Hokkaido area, it would be it'd be a problem. Hmm. That is a little concerning. Okay. Well, that's the. Nighttime movement phase. Now we're on to the <sighs> daytime movement phase. It doesn't look like we're going to have any more naval engagements this turn. Look at all those subs, man. Oh, that's us. All right, guys. Let's hopefully not have any canceled missions due to weather today from Kido Butai. I really need him to fly. Mm. Ah! Another canceled mission. Oh, no! They're both canceled. Man! That stinks. Oh man, what a waste of a day. Another waste of day. Yeah, that stinks, man. At least we got clear sky over here. Oh, wow, that was good. Those are some of the best hits I've ever seen. 20 supply hits. That's what we need. Fourth Chinese Cavalry Corps. Ooh, nice hits on Baton this turn. Look at those supply hits. That's what I need. Okay, that's kind of weird. Something flew. Huh. Whatever. I mean, I, I didn't think that we'd have anything fly today. That's, I thought... Uh, 
Must have been the Melbourne missions then. Okay, we hit some... Okay, so it looks like half of my raids got cancelled, but not the other half. Really bad weather over the target, but we do get some hits. Ah, uh, where's the rest of my raid is what I want to know. Oh, unless I forgot to assign all of them to hit it. Oh man, I really screwed up if that's the case. I think I screwed up my Keto Butai orders this turn, guys. Lu Chao. Sally's hitting North of Rangoon. Wow, look at that. My goodness. Good hits. Okay, more rate more hits on Baton. B-17s! What is this? This is strategic bombing? Wow. Look at that. He's going for it, guys. He's strategic bombing me in Rangoon to take out the oil. <sighs> well. There it is. I just was not in a position to defend against that. Man, I really screwed up on my Keto Butai orders, man. I'm really bummed out about it. I really screwed up. Like, I only ordered one squadron to fly instead of all of them. Bumped out. What a, a whole wasted day yet for the Keto Butai. <sighs> and more bad weather. Man, I'm really upset about that. That stinks. I'm trying to soften these guys up real good here. Because I need to push them off this hex. Wow, what a waste of a day for KB. That really stinks. I screwed up. Just not paying attention. All right, this is us unloading here. Okay, hopefully today we can push through here. I don't understand it. Why can't we kill this unit? It's a pain in the butt. 
Alright, we're bombarding Malebole. He seems to be quite intact here. Alright, and a shock attack here. Hopefully we can finish this unit off once and for once and for all. No. Oh, we did destroy it. Okay. Unit destroyed. That should clear up a lot of resistance here. Wow. This turn was a waste. Ah, that stinks, man. Whoa! Dilly has a, a garrison requirement? Huh. I didn't know that. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Man, this turn sucked. Ugh. Hi. Uh, in case you were wondering, it's about three days after I watched the turn. And uh, I've had a rough few days. I've been very sick. My kids have been sick. I've been sick. I think we've got something called adenovirus. It's like strep throat, but it's nothing you can treat with antibiotics. So I think my kids brought it home from summer camp. And I've been having chills and fever, really bad body aches. And it's, it's just been awful. So this is the first I've had the energy to want to sit down at my computer and look at this craptastic turn. So let's look at it. All right, uh, so aircraft losses a turn were another really bad day for us. Eight losses, and nothing particularly noteworthy here. Just ops losses, right? A little bit of everything. Of those eight aircraft lost, we have one wounded and one killed pilot. Let's see who that wounded pilot is. Hmm. Let's see here. Ino Kuchi. Ino. Okay. Transfer to reserve. Uh, looks like we're going to get him back, but we're not going to get this guy back. So I'm also just retire him. Retire him. That's who we're getting back. Okay. Uh, looking at the air ship sunk this turn. Uh, we lost one of our patrol boats near uh, our picket zone, and I'll show it to you in a little bit because it's actually kind of bad for me. I don't like what this means. Uh, Army lost points this turn. 18 for the Allies, 1 for Japan. For the turn, we somehow managed to scrape together 47 additional points, bringing our win ratio up to 1.779. Notice the strap point here? Didn't go up at all. That's also really bad. We'll briefly go through Combat Reporter because I just don't have the energy to sit here for long. Let's look at this naval engagement because this is actually really bad. So we add the... Heavy cruiser Minneapolis and San Francisco and three escorting destroyers took out one of my patrol boats here. And let me show you where that's at. That's right about here. So he's moving his heavy cruisers up this way and engaged my patrol boat here. So now what does that mean? Is he out here just picking off patrol boats or does that mean that he's going to continue on towards the home islands? If it's If that's the case... Then these little surface combat task forces I've got out here are not going to get the job done because they do not have the firepower to take out two heavy cruisers. So I don't like the implications here. I don't know what this means. And I know I don't want to keep feeding patrol boats in here for him just to kill because he very well may just turn around and head back home. Or he may continue on. I don't know. With how poorly my naval search has been working this campaign, he could get to right here and I won't see him. And then he could full speed into anywhere and take out my ships. He could even turn and go straight this way. I wouldn't know it until it's too late. So, all I know is he's got cruisers on the prowl out here, and we have no way of stopping them or knowing where they're even going. I don't like it. 
Uh, let's see. In the ground combat, very little happened today. We had a small engagement here on Borneo. Uh, another attack here where we do nothing to this Lusu War Area. I don't understand this at all. And another bombardment of Belay Alright, so the biggest disappointment today was Sail, or actually the Kido Butai. So, we had a combination of bad weather and me screwing up. So, I, I selected two targets here. Only one of them were hit. But, I forgot to assign all of the aircraft to that target. So, only one squadron went out and hit Sail. And for some reason, despite us getting, look at this, seven resource hits, right? Although no damage recorded, and we had no strat points. So explain that to me. How do we get resource hits with no damage and no points? Granted, it wasn't a full deck load strike, but we didn't get anything for that. So today's Keto Butai raid was a complete and utter bust. Bad weather and me screwing up the orders. So now I wasted an entire day of Keto Butai strikes because of my misclick. That sucks. Uh, also, this was really bad too. B-17s struck Rangoon and decimated the oil fields here, the refineries. So let's take a look at that. And this is this is even this is bad too. So if they hit Rangoon and he and the maximum range of a B-17 on an extended range is 19. So my guess is he came out of Calcutta because that's about where he could come out of and strike. So he hit us from Calcutta more than likely. And damaged a significant amount of the refineries at Rangoon. And the problem is, is that this base has so much damage from me bombing it previously. I cannot fly any aircraft in here to cap this. So he's going to have free reign on all of Rangoon. And he'll level this place before I have any chance of doing anything to stop him. I did not, I did not anticipate this when I took Rangoon. In hindsight, I should have gone in with more engineers. More aviation support right off the start. So it could have flown cap in there. These stupid B-17s. I hate B-17s. And I hate that the Allies get them. And they're so strong. I remember when I was covering the Desert Wolf campaign. I was railing on those B-17s and B-24s. And how effective they were. And how impossible they are to stop. And I was saying to myself. This is going to be the reason why I stopped playing Japan. Or never played Japan. Because these B-17s and these B-24s. And all these stupid U.S. bombers. Are just so devastating. And look we're getting a little taste of it right now. I hate them. Anyway, rant over. Uh, Sigint. Uh, anything good here? Marchfield. Hey, that's where I work. Let's see what's happening over at my uh, at my home, at my base. Uh, some information here, but not much. Actually, there's no information here. Sigint from Marchfield. Maybe it's me making a phone call at work. Cheng A little something going on in China. Uh, I don't know. Kabarovsk, nothing good. Puchang, that says she's saying they're starving and they want out. That's Soviet Union, that's Soviet Union. Okay. Op support, only thing I want to bring to your attention today is the Intel report. Um, Delhi is at the size 5 airfield. And that's here in India. It's right here. So, Helsin is definitely preparing as though we're coming into India. And he's building these backline bases. And I know why he's doing it. You notice how he hasn't really built up Calcutta much? He's worried that we may actually take it. And he doesn't want to give us a base full of points. That's See, that look at him. He is so Sir Robin. He's not even attempting to try to defend Calcutta, guys. He's not going to build any bases that we could potentially take in 1942. He's building way back here. If that is not turtle up defense shell, I don't know what is. He doesn't even want to give us a base that's built up. So he's building up Delhi and uh, Bhopal and all these other bases in the back to defend against us possibly going into India someday. God, he, uh, ugh. this guy's frustrating to play against. But I guess it's smart. All right. Because I'm getting tired already. I'm going to make this quick. Uh, again, we talked about the surface threat over here. I'm very concerned about it because I don't know if they're going to continue this way, head this way, head down to Wake. Who knows where they're going to go. Or just head back and he just wants to kill some patrol boats. 
So I need to come up with a better plan here because I just can't keep feeding patrol boats in here to get killed every time it comes through. Especially if they don't bear any fruit, right? Uh, in China, we are fully invested into the crossroad hex. Now, if you look at the hex side, unfortunately, we don't control enough hex sides to... Um, you know, to do anything. <laughs> We're not going to stop the fuel going through. And, you know, as I was looking at this a little bit more, I am I think that we're going to run into some opposition here at uh, Kunchang. I thought it was going to be undefended, but the more I look at it, the more I realize that it probably isn't going to be undefended. So, yeah, um, I need to come up with a plan B here because I don't think that taking this base is going to be as easy as I initially thought. Yeah, we already talked about Rangoon. Our troops are continuing up the roads here, but the problem I'm having now is that Rangoon is going to get bombed into the ground by the B-17s, and I have no counter to it. Uh, Singapore is doing fine. Uh, we got a lot of ships in there last turn, the bulk of them. I have tons of cap here, so I'm not worried about any strikes in Singapore right now. Uh, it would be very costly for him if he were to do that. I just need to reconsolidate, rest my divisions. As you can see here, uh, we have some that are still pretty badly disrupted and fatigued. So we need to get that down. I do. I definitely want to get it down before the next operation. Basically, cleaned up, cleaned up the top part of Borneo over here. We're going to continue pushing on in a nice, slow, controlled pace through here. On Luzon, it does appear that he is, in fact, still heading back in, into Clark from Iba. He struck out, got what he wanted to get, and he's back. But we're still collapsing back into uh, Manila, and we're just going to make our stand there. I'm working on building up the airfield. I'm working on building up the fortifications. We are keeping um, Baton suppressed. So I'm going to alternate between Baton and Clark Field and keep the damage so high that he can't operate any more aircraft here and just make it... So he started taking his supply out even quicker. So the bad thing is he's got a ton of troops in Luzon still. And the, the good thing is he's got a ton of troops on Luzon still. I basically gifted him his entire army on Luzon. And it's bad because that means that we're always at risk of him striking out. But it's good because this many troops eats up a ton of supply. He may eat up more supply than I'm able to bomb out. So we may be able to neutralize him faster than I thought. A unit that is out of supply is 90% less combat effective than one that isn't out of supply. So even though he's got Clark Field, even though he's got 2,500 AV there or whatever he's got, it's 90% ineffective. So I won't even need to do that much to take the place when it's time. So maybe, maybe it was a blessing in disguise, I guess. I don't know. On Mindanao, we do have the uh, American or the Filipino troops bottled up in Malaybalay. I'm just trying to recuperate this division it's still pretty weak right now but we'll keep bombarding it every turn and hitting it from the air and try to blow out his supply because he can't have that much of it here and then from there we'll just take the place it may take a little bit of time though so this is a surprise to me i didn't realize that dilly had a garrison requirement so now i pulled all my troops out of there and i don't have any way of garrisoning this so i want to start eating vps every day until i figure this out so that's really inconvenient for me because I don't really have a good a unit to put in here right now. That kind of sucks. It may have to be these guys. Nope, they can't even be these guys. They don't have enough assault value. Yikes. Yeah, always check garrison requirements, guys. It's going to bite you in the butt. All right, Solomon's is looking good, guys. Now, let's talk about this train wreck that I caused out here in Australia this turn. I screwed up the... Uh, between bad weather and me screwing up the orders, I wasted an entire days of attacks on the resources and such in Australia. So, now I, I can't stay down here because he's going to just swarm me. So, I've kind of blown my opportunity down here to strike. So, now we got to head back north. That stinks. All right, guys. I think that's it. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, my throat hurts. I, I don't want to talk anymore. 
Uh, this is probably the last video you're going to get out of me for about the next week. I am going on vacation next, uh, starting Monday. I'm heading up to my favorite place in California, Morro Bay. For those of you who are locals, you'll know where that's at. It's near San Luis Obispo. Here, I'll show you on a map. Um, I'm going right here, San Luis Obispo. Actually, to a place called Morro Bay, which is right up here, one hex to the north. Uh, this is one of my favorite places to hang out in California. It's beautiful there. If you would like to follow along with my trip, uh, I'll be very active on my Discord even while I'm away. So come talk to me there. And I'll, I'll post some pictures on my YouTube community tab just so you guys can see what I can see because I love it here. We're going to go up to Monterey as well, which be kind of up where Fort Ord is at. Going to go all up and down the coast here. We're staying for a whole week. So I'm taking me and my kids and my mother. It's going to be a good time. So me and Helson are not going to be playing for that week because I won't have my computer and I don't have a laptop that I want to play with. So uh, that'll be it for that. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. I didn't. <laughs> uh, but, you know, thanks for waiting for me to get this video out. I've just been feeling like utter garbage. So I'm glad I finally got it done. But I will catch you guys on the next one.